Okay, you know as well as I do. Where are you going? Stay in shot. We need to fix the washer, the shaker, the yeah. washer plant, the rock washer. The rock washer, yeah. I see we've got a lot of aggregate coming out the end. And it's, and it's still dirty. There's been one thing that's been bothering me the entire time. It is not washing the rocks properly. No. We always have the water coming out and it's like puking onto the rocks instead of spraying. So I want to fix that today. Okay. Because we got to get the gold off the rocks be before the aggregate goes down. Can put some spray bars in there? Yeah. Okay, so we're finally just going to uh, glue all of this together. It's time because in the heat and overuse and wear, it's getting a little, you can see there, it doesn't have the strength to hold itself up. We want the dirt to be coming up the conveyor belt, getting into the shaker, getting washed all the way down. And up until now, we've just had a staggered stream off of these outlets right here from the water. Uh, and instead, I'd like to put tubes that go straight across and actually wash the rocks as they're being vibrated down as it should be. Steve, that's way more hose than we need, and you know that. It is. Right? Yeah. Well, realistically, I need three feet. It's 100 feet. I... <laughs> well, I have extra then. Awesome. You can make a mistake a few times. I can, yeah. It's another thing I want to look at today's sluice box is how level this uh, entire shaker plant is. This whole shaker looks like it needs to come to the north a little bit here. Yeah. So I want to make sure we put it in place properly and get her all leveled out instead of just eyeballing it here. I noticed all the rocks were falling to this side over here. That's, yeah, there. somebody else had mentioned in the comment section that all the rocks were sliding. They should be going down through the middle. So we do read the comments, guys. We do uh, try to take the advice, even though we're just pretty much just goofing off and having a good time here trying to find some gold and some pay dirt. Uh, you know, why not try to make it as good as we can get it? In the meantime, I am going to start working on the skirting issue um, of this conveyor belt. This is a conveyor that we had uh, where Sluice Box there was loading it up with the excavator in the last film, episode 9. Uh, Evtech was uh, loading up the uh, screener right here. But the problems we were getting, you can see here, is that pay dirt's actually getting underneath the conveyor. So I couldn't find any more of this rubber right now, but I did have some two inch um, uh, water hose, just some flat lay water hose. So I'm gonna take that, make a skirt over the top, just so it lays on top uh, of this conveyor belt and it stops the rocks from going underneath. You'll see. This pack slides on, on these manifolds very nicely, but we gotta get this shoe goo off of it from our last application of nozzles. Good luck, you might have to burn it right off. Plus, we're gonna have to glue this up here so it's strong up here, hey? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm, yeah. What do you think? You, you up for it or what? Oh yeah. Dude, the longer you're standing here talking to me, the less gold we're getting, right? So well, I, I need you to get know, to we work. gotta fix it. We need to discuss. Right? Just make it happening. Okay. Right? I'm on it. So Steve asked me to uh, help him tag team, uh, and I was happy to do it. We poked a ton of holes in this son of a gun right here uh, between the two of us. I know it looks not very even and a little bit sloppy, but Steve is used to that, I'm sure. Uh, we're going to test it out, even up these end bars, and uh, we'll try to spray some rocks. What's the matter? You're awfully quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of buffed by what you just said. <laughs> so I'm just lining up the skirt. Bonus for me is I can use a full size stapler on a 1 14th size uh, conveyor belt. Makes my job a lot easier. Absolutely. The sooner I am uh, moving pay, the sooner we're all getting a paycheck. And with the bills I have, you guys have seen over the last nine episodes, I have not been getting enough gold to make this worthwhile. <laughs> but I still have the fever to move that dirt. That's looking good, bud. Yeah, this will help. This should keep out all the rocks from going under the conveyor belt. Where are we at? So it needs to come up considerably on that side by about a centimeter. A centimeter? Yeah. And then sideways, it's got to come up on our side just a hair. On this side? Yep. That's it crazy. Look that way to me. So still needs just a touch more. No, it's just a little bit too high now. Just a tad too high, but we definitely want to make sure it's level. Everybody's going to think that we never actually sluice, and that's the truth. 
<laughs> just like real gold mining, man. It's uh, even in scale form, there's just so much to do, even as a hobby. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, since it's painted, we're gonna bring it up to the level that we want. So right about there. And we're gonna just draw a line on either side so we know where it lines up when we're gluing it. Okay, wash plant section out. So for anyone who hasn't uh, put together PVC piping before, uh, two parts, basically a primer and then the cement. We're using a clear cement today uh, and a small bottle. You want to make sure you have a small brush and applicator because this stuff can go everywhere. If you get any of the purple primer on your fingers, good luck. You're going to look like you have robbed a bank for the next week. <laughs> True. That's a good way to look at it. Oh, he was just pointing out to me that both of the both of these are clear. A clear primer. Very nice. Now, sluice box, in your experience of working with this PVC stuff, how long do you want to leave the primer and or glue before you use it? Uh, what, 30 seconds? 30 seconds. I, I'm going to need it to work in 10 seconds. I don't think I have. You got a spider right, right, uh, I'm not going to get it off there for you. Uh, whoa, it's all good, I'm man. definitely not getting it now. <laughs> <laughs> So with the PEX, uh, what I did here was basically I took a rotary tool and I just drilled a whole bunch of holes on an angle and then I took a file handle which is more of a rectangle shape and I poked it in there making a rectangle, uh, uh, a rectangle hole but a bit of a bevel. So that's how I tried to create the sprayers this time. Also the holes are big enough that if they do get plugged up I can go ahead and uh, uh, unplug them easier. You need a hand here buddy? Yeah. You're good. Oh, is that where you want it? A little higher, please. Yeah, that's good. Make sure on either side it's even. It is. Okay, ready? Yep. That's right. as far as that's going. That fitting was just a little bit too long. Right? Yeah, too long. A little bit. It's all right. That's what a bottle. Of, that's what a rattle can is for. I think we got it, man. Looks great. Good to go. Set up the sluice box, fire it up. See if we can wash some rocks. Looks like she's holding well. Okay, all the gear is out. Uh, RC four wheel drive, 870 loader over there with a custom bucket on the front. Uh, right behind Steve there is the, uh, the bulldozer, which is a huge, heavy 58 pound machine. There is the older version, the 1.5 of the excavator. Uh, the earth digger. Okay, so we're just gonna lock down these sluice boxes, gonna give them a quick run. What I like about this setup here, they just kinda click down into place, making everything pretty easy to check out and see. This side's a little difficult. Yeah, it's cause it's the way we got it hammered down, yeah? Yeah. yeah just give it a little lift. Give it some love, sluice box. There you go. Side's in. Okay, dude, give me your sluice juice. Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Sweet. Let there be water. We're going to maybe have to seal up that pan. system definitely looks better. We could use more like shooting off to the side, but I want to give this a try. Let's move some pay, bro. Sure. Shaking nicely. Oh, it's out of one of the springs. Got to shut it off. Spring yeah, spring it out. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That almost shut us down, hey? We got her. Good, good, good. No springs lost or broken. 
Lipo plugged in, on, conveyors, action, turn on the shaker, shaking, good shake, looking good, excavator, good to go, you got pay dirt, let's load it on the skirt and see how it does. Oh, first shovel of the day. <laughs> Down. Whoa, a little new on the excavator. Steve's still learning it. Looking good though. The skirt running it down. Into the conveyor. Clean rocks. Oh, I got water on the lens. Perfect. Oh, auger stuck. Auger stuck. Again, look at this. The rocks went right through the bars. You gotta I, get on order in them grizzly bars. I man. gotta get, I gotta make some, man. I'm gonna weld some up. Okay, so let's back it off. We'll get these out of here. Turn off your pump on the excavator. I'll back this out. It's that rock right there. There we go, we got it. Turn her through. Almost stick in there. Stop. Perfect. Perfect. Roll. So I'll be more careful. Try to get the boulders out. So will I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop shaking, man. Look at this. Oh, did we break them out? No, I think just we ran out of power, but we got a whole bunch of paste stuck up at the top. Okay, you fix, uh, you fix the auger, I'll fix the shaker. I'm pretty darn sure it's a power issue on my side. Got everything turned off. There we go. It's so hard to keep this thing running all the time. What? Yeah, there's a lot of gold in there. You see it? Only in the first sluice. <laughs> I know. Number two doesn't got anything I can see. I bet number three's got some in it though. Okay, here we go with the power. Did you get the auger? Yep. Sweet. 
Here we go, power problem. Hopefully. Yeah. Powered on. We're shaking, it's processing. We're watching rock. <laughs> Conveyor stops. Oh no. You didn't turn it off? No. We had the whole plant shut down? What? I didn't turn it off. Maybe it's the lipo. I got a fresh lipo. <laughs> shaved in right there. It's been working extra hard. A tooth came out. Oh no, this conveyor is down, man. <laughs> conveyor problem. Look at this. It's just shredding it right along. I wonder if it's rubbing the metal and causing resistance there. I wonder. I'm getting too tight on the frame. Yeah. Sir. Yeah, we got that one screw rubbing. You have to clean that up. Yeah, we're going to have to clean it up. Okay, keep loading pay for now. If we go down right now, there's no way I'm going to reach a half an ounce by the end of the summer. It's one way to get past the grizzly bar problem. Just avoid them. <laughs> That's a lot of material. a steady load of pay. Come on, gold! Big money! Watch those drop. Plug jets, I noticed. That's holding up pretty good. 
Awesome. The sprayer stuff. So a little bit of granulation in there, not too bad in the filter. Shaker shaking away. Looks like I'm gonna have to adjust the nozzle for a little bit of the pay that's getting stuck up right in the top area still, but overall very good. Yeah, the battery wasn't quite at 75, but I knew you were ready to go. So. Yeah, and I don't think that actually has enough uh, slant on it either, because that is quite a bit of rock. It's like not enough flow, and because it's supposed to be, what, an inch of rise for every foot of sluice box? Inch of, inch of drop for each foot, yeah. Yeah, so it should be like two three, feet, pretty three, much. Three, three inches. feet, three inches. Yep. So maybe it's not enough, maybe it's too flat. Yeah, it looks a little flat to me, that's for sure. It looks very straight to me, actually, today. <laughs> Show me some colors. Don't see anything in here yet. Oh! Right oh, there. not at the bottom. Yeah, right there at the bottom. Oh, that's not good. I know, but... They ask me if it's real gold, Steve. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't see that flake, but everything I've seen so far is real gold. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to leave that there just so I can see it. Hmm. It looks like there's lots of stuff throughout the mat. Oh. Especially in this, it looks like a lot of flower gold in there. I don't know if it's just my eyes deceiving me or what, but let's uh, let's give it a one. I'd like to see a nice snug one day, Steve. Yes, me too. I think we should head up to the Yukon for a week just to have some fun. I'm in. Yeah. Let's go. Hard to decipher between gold and the yellow rock sometimes, but when you see gold, it's shiny. <laughs> yes, there's I don't see any shinies left in this map. Well, you pan way better than me. <laughs> for, a, for, are my thing. for a prairie, for a prairie guy. Eh? Yeah, I think the sluices are working good. We'll get them dialed in. Oh, just a tiniest piece, man. I see one. Right there. That's all we got out of that. Dude, one tiny piece. This is sluice box two? This is sluice box one. Is it? Yeah, what happened? Well, that's disappointing. Well, like I said, I hope it's all in the nugget trap. Yeah. <laughs> I would think I'd see some gold in here if it was going to be in the nugget trap, but one little piece. Can't be a winner every day, man. That was a lot of work for that little fleck of gold. Ah! Don't want to lose it. It's okay, we still have another one to go. Please tell me there's something large in here. <laughs> I got nothing in this one. Nothing. I got, I got some color. Like there's flakes in here. I can see the flakes. Dust. Yeah, it's dust, man. Like one, two, three. Oh, there's a whole bunch in the corner. Oh, yeah. They're tiny though. So small. Like there's some more in the corner. Right the shaker there. table would pull those out of there. The too. shaker table would. I gotta build a shaker table. Ah, flower gold. That's what Alberta's known for. Disappointing. Disappointing. Hey, tiny ones, I need a little snuffer bottle to sniff those out yes, of there. Yes, you do. Holy cow, it's peppered, man. They're everywhere. <laughs> it's very cool that it catches so many pieces of gold, though. Yes. Let's see what you got in there. One by one. Oh, one by one. Hard to see them because they just look like little rocks. Yes, they do. But when you get them in the light, you can definitely see their gold. 
We're gonna have to like build a little furnace and melt these down and make like the world's smallest gold brick from the first RC mine. We could do that. And <laughs> we must be able to with the torch. 2,000 degrees. We need a dagger torch. Dude, there's gold everywhere in here. Look at the, look at down there. I'm just pulling them out like crazy. I think everybody's gonna be mining this site. In. Oh, hmm. wow. Yeah. Keeps coming. If I had a little wow. snuff, snuffer bottle, it'd be, You'd be done. way easier, but you know what? This is kind of half the fun for me right now. All that work for this tiny little gold, but so much fun. <laughs> Give it a look. Yeah, last time I saw gold right up at the top here, but I don't see any today. I don't see any in the riffles. But panning will tell. Perfect. Yeah, dip her down. Down, down, down. Just dip, dip that in and out. Yeah. Let that all fall down to the center. Peeking out. Oh man, I wish that was it right there. But yeah. It was <laughs> I wish. There was a few pieces, I think. Eighty dollar piece of gold. That'd be a nice recovery day. Yep. Getting that black sand out. There's another piece right there. This is a pretty decent piece peeking out here. It is. I get this one separated because it's pretty small. Here is the gold I was able to pull out of the little mat there with the tweezers. Excellent. Very excellent. Very nice. And some at the bottom. Where'd that go? There's that piece. And that piece. Just clearing off that sand. Nervous, I don't want to drop it into all the dirt. Yeah. There's well, one piece there's trying, one to trying to escape. Get away. No, you don't. <laughs> Look at it, dude. It looks awesome. I can't believe we got this out of this cleanup. One little piece trying to make his way away again. There he is. That's beautiful. It is. That uh, one little guy got away. That's okay. Well, he's in a bucket. Yeah, I can. That's why I do this in a bucket. Always get him back, dude. It's like revealing itself as the nicest gold today. Wow. That looks wonderful, man. Wow. Okay, so keep rolling because here is our here is our container where we've been con keeping all the gold from YouTube Gold. I don't know where the uh, tweezers are in my pocket right here. That's a wonderful piece. Yeah, a couple of nice ones in there. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Got most of it out. I got a few flakes in the corner. But check it out, my friends. Have a look. That is real gold. Nice and close up. Does that say one eighth of an ounce? It does, dude. Check it out. Wow, that's all right. One eighth of an ounce. <laughs> Too funny. Awesome. We're well on our way to a half an ounce gold. That's crazy, man. It's like a. YouTube gold. gold in a day. Nice. Yeah, I'm sitting with, on the ground measuring all the breakdowns. Weighing my gold. That's pretty good. Gonna have to get a gold room just for this, dude. It totally worked. YouTube gold. We're on the gold. <laughs> wow. What do you think? 
I think that's gold. I think that's, that's awesome. Uh, we're going to hit our, our, our goal for sure. We just got to keep digging and moving micro yardage, man.